there anyways. Can yeah. you mech all over my face? Alrighty, survivors. So today is going to be a speed run, and we're going to be unlocking the skiff as quick as possible. I'm going to show you how to do that. So grab a bloodsucker, grab a giga, and let's start rolling as quick as possible, okay? Also, for a section, you're going to need a friend. There's going to be a little bit zigzagging back and forth, but that'll be okay if you have the bloodsucker. So you definitely need that, and there's definitely one quest where you definitely need that. So definitely bring a bloodsucker. You've got to have that, and you've got to have a giga. Anyways, let's get down to business. Let's roll through this as quick as possible. Stay tuned, and if you like the video, hit like and sub. Alright, let's get down to business right out of the gate. I need you to spawn ocean and track mission wave ray 64. Again, wave ray 64. We're going to do gamma and we're going to do beta. I'm not going to show it because it's an easy, quick race. Just get it done. All right, those two are easy. That's two knocked out. All right, let's go to the next one. Track mission bottlenose blitz. You're gonna do gamma, beta, and alpha. It's a simple race. You're on a dolphin, you're flying through. Get it done, let's go. This is gonna knock out three more, so we're gonna be at five when we're done with this. Speeding along. All right, I'm gonna trim up a lot of stuff and make it pretty quick as possible, but I needed a small moment to talk to you. Guys, we did it. Hit a thousand scubs, scrubs. <laughs> we hit a thousand subs, subs. Holy smokes! No. Okay, we hit a thousand subs, guys. Thank you so much. Without you guys, I, it, well, obviously, I couldn't have done it. So I appreciate it. It's awesome. Hopefully, I can still bring in some informative content and stop slipping all over my words and calling you guys scrubs. But yeah, hopefully, this video is awesome. Let's roll forward. Alrighty, and right as you're finished with Bottlenose Blitz, head up to and track mission, hide and sink. It's very close by. We're doing gamma, beta, and alpha. So that's three more right down the tube. I'm going to show you this one because it is kind of hard to find the things and you need to do the end one fast. So here it is. Check it out real quick. I'll speed it up a little bit. but So now you'll at least be able to see where they're at. So you'll be able to fly through alpha. All right, get these done. Gamma, beta, and alpha. And this is going to put you at six, seven, and eight. Eight done that quick. Let's go. All right, as you're doing these, just be be aware of your oxygen and your stamina. You start running low, get into a bubble, and it will put your oxygen full and it'll put your stamina full. You do not need a scuba tank or scuba flippers. You actually will get no effect from the scuba, flipper, scuba flippers in Genesis, so they're irrelevant, throw them out. Um, and scuba tank, you really just don't need because you consume way less oxygen in the water over here. So. Just be aware of your oxygen, you know, be cognizant of that and uh, make sure you got some bubbles near and by. You should be okay, but just be aware.
Awesome job. Now that's eight complete. Now teleport to Bog Bog South, and we're gonna be doing mission Bog Fishing. We're gonna hit Alpha. We're gonna hit Gamma. We're gonna hit Beta. It's pretty easy. You're just chucking a net in the water. Throw the net and uh, pull it pull it in by clicking on the mouse as fast as possible. Don't pull in any piranha, otherwise the net will break. All right, hit three of those, Alpha, Gamma, and Beta. That's gonna be nine, 10, and 11. All right, next up, track mission, King of the Swing Grand Prix. Okay, we're only doing one of this because it is a little hectic. Now, if you're crazy at the Bloodsucker, go ahead, try Beta, try Alpha if you want to, but if you just get the slightest mess up, you can't get it done. It's ridiculous, it's annoying, so just, just stick with Gamma, just stick with Gamma. Alrighty, cruising along. Our next mission is going to be another bog hunt, and you're going to do Gamma, Beta, and Alpha on this one. It's a pretty easy one. You're just running around collecting the little shinies off of the floor. Just move fast, maybe bring a Bloodsucker for sure. Well, actually, no, definitely bring a Bloodsucker, and yeah, just stay frosty. You'll be fine. Keep moving forward. All right, next up is Bog Beatdown. Sprint over there real quick and just complete the Gamma and the Beta. It's helpful to have a friend with this one for sure, to say the very least. So complete Gamma and Beta. Have a lot of med brews, have some extra flak. If you do run into a, a bad position, end of the quest and restart it, you should be fine. Complete Gamma and uh, Beta, and then it's going to put you at 1617. Alrighty, with 17 complete, now we're gonna complete six really quick, really easy. Head to Bog Northeast and track mission Dodo Shot Clock. And you need to go there with a friend in order to complete six. So this will be helpful. Head on over there and yeah, it's just shooting hoops. And for the friend one, all you have to do is get one friend to make a basket and then you can just sit there and let the game play out and complete all of them that way. Um, there's no rewards for the uh, duo ones, but uh, there is for the singular ones. So yeah, complete all six of those and then you'll have 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23 done. Pretty good. All right, once complete with all the Dodo basketball missions, head over to Arctic Biome. I believe it's Arctic Northeast, but we're looking for the mission Searching the Frozone. So get your butt to Searching the Frozone. we got some work to do there. We're going to complete three more missions there. With this one, you're going to want a Bloodsucker out. So have that. And yeah, just zoom along. You'll learn the path. It's just like any other searching one. So get it done. Searching the Frozone. Gamma, Alpha, Beta. All three of them. All right. Once completed with Searching the Frozone, you're heading down the cliff there to your right and you're gonna be hitting uh, ice fishing. So just do the gamma of ice fishing if, if you really, I guess, wanna try and do the other ones. You can do the other ones, but it's kind of annoying. Alrighty, now with ice fishing gamma complete, the others are just really annoying, and I guess you could do them if you wanted, but I'm sticking with the easier stuff for now. So just do gamma on this one, and with that complete, that puts us at 27. Now, track mission Saber Slalom. It's up the cliffside to your left, and it's pretty much just a, well, a saber tooth race. It seems to go fastest when you do the space bar. Uh, with that said, the alpha is pretty hard, so let's just do the gamma and beta of that one. So once that's complete, that's going to be 28, 29 can be complete. So yes, you need to go up the mountain and hit two saber slaloms, gamma and beta for 29 complete. Alrighty, and once you're complete with Saber Slalom, the reason why we came up the cliff is because we're going to go down the other side of the mountain as opposed to going around it. And 
well, in the middle, we could complete an easy one. So you're going to go down the cliff this time, tracking mission Rhino 500. It's another fun race. Uh, the alpha on this one is at least doable. You do have to get a little bit of luck involved, unless you're, like, insanely good at it. But just uh, hammer it out to where you can get it. Unfortunately, at times, you can just get some things in your way as you're doing it. But hammer it out. You'll, you'll be all right. You can get it done. Uh, get Gamma, Beta, and Alpha done on those. On the Rhino 500. So that'll be 30, 31, 32. Alrighty, now right beneath Rhino 500 is Mound Over Matter. So teleport, or I'm sorry, track that, go right beneath you. It's like literally extremely close. And uh, you're going to do Gamma, Beta, and Alpha. Now I'm going to show you the ending of this one because it's kind of unique. You can just, well, sprint through it. And that's going to put us at 33, 34, 35. So we're cruising right along. Alrighty, so go ahead and track mission, ruffle some feathers, get over there, get your giga out and be ready for this. This isn't too crazy, but yeah, just kind of be ready. It's a little annoying, so you have to gamma up and gamma down doing this, but go ahead and do gamma and beta of ruffle some feathers. It's against some yut, and the rewards are pretty cool, you'll like that. With this complete, it's going to put us at 36, 37. All right, so once you're done with those ones, and like I said, don't do the, the mammoth ones, it's just not worth it. Head to home is where the pouch is, and we're gonna complete gamma, beta, and alpha of those. That's gonna put us at 38, 39, and 40. So home is where the pouch is, is actually pretty cool, because you can get rail guns from it. All it really is is protect a uh, kangaroo. So you're gonna need a giga on this, and that's it. There's nothing too crazy though. Just protect the kangaroo, deliver it to its mom, and you're good to go. Complete gamma, beta, and alpha of this, as mentioned. All right, next we head over to the volcano biome, and now we're gonna be tracking mission gotta go fast it's a ridiculous wrist and well use the roll the right click roll just be careful you don't roll off a cliff do the gamma and beta of this one Alrighty, next is mission called dead heat track that and go to it it's a gallimimus wrist we're going to be doing the Gamma and beta of that one. So that's gonna put us as put us at 43, 44. Uh, and once you're finished with dead heat, track quest magma medley relay, and you're gonna do the gamma and beta of that one. So that's going to give you 45, 46. So we'll be at 46 of 58. We're flying. We're almost done, really, to be honest with you. With Magma Medley Relay, you'll get Tech Pants from, but you need to bring some Med Brews and a friend for this one. If you get banged up, just uh, restart the quest and kite around as best as possible. Um, you should be all right. You got this. Alrighty, so up next is going to be Tokyo Skiff. We've head over to the Lunar Biome, and we're going to knock this one out, but we're just going to do Gamma on this one, and this is going to put us at 47. Alright, and once you're done with Tokyo Skiff, head right over to Space Jam. It's real close to you, and you are going to do the Gamma and Beta on that one, solo, the regular Space Jam, and that's going to do... 48, 49, but then you're going to do the Gamma, Beta, and Alpha of the uh, duo one with your partner, and that's going to be 50, 51, 52. 
Alrighty, next up, track quest. This little light of mine. You are going to protect a little bulb dog or a little glow pet on this one. Um, yeah, get your giga out for this and do the gamma, beta, and alpha. That's going to put you at 53, 54, 55. So we're almost at the home stretch. And next up is going to be King of the Moon. Track that one. It is basically just you fighting a T-Rex. Watch the knockback. You should be fine as long as you're imprinted to that Giga. Do the Gamma and Beta of this one for 56.57. Alrighty, guys. And with those last two missions complete, that leaves the final one. And what better mission to kill? A space whale it's actually pretty easy they die very quick so just bring a good shotgun or a good crossbow or, or whatnot and uh, get it to spawn in and then just shoot it it's done pretty quick careful of asteroids again and yeah don't let the thing hit you that's it guys it's complete we did it 58 missions so that's what you need to get into the boss now I can give you a rundown here and you know, that took forever of how to do the boss, or you can just go and watch my video of us, of us running it a couple months back, and uh, that should be helpful. Guys, that's all the missions and the boss, everything you need to get a skiff, well, then you gotta craft it. Hopefully this video was useful. If it was, smash that like button, hit subscribe, share the video, and guys, I appreciate it. Y'all have a good one.